What it do, my MCOC crew? This is damn epic. And oh man, do we have a very exciting video today. Starting off with this Legends Celebration 7 Star Selector. Let's quickly go through what I think is going to be good. It's a little late to say like what you should pick because you probably picked whoever you're going to pick. But for those who haven't, this is for you. And also who I'm torn between and why. And also make sure you stick around to the end of the video. Your boy is going to be opening up a very, very juicy seven star crystal. So here we go. Let's get into it. So the options, of course, OG Black Panther. Um, I really, really like his damage. Uh, he needs the dupe for some utility. But guys, for my roster, I've got enough attackers. So I'm not really going to go for him. If you are purely looking for someone for questing, um, can do a lot of bleed damage and whatnot, pairs well with, you know, your six-star Hercules, definitely go for this guy. I think it's a very nice uh, synergy with Hercules with the unblockable specials. Also allows uh, Black Panther's uh, play style to be a little bit more fluid with the Intimidate. Um, let's move on. So that is out. Next, we're looking at is going to be Ant-Man. Now, he's actually one of the champs I'm considering. He's buff immune. He's got some immunities. He's got the damage over time. However, the main game mode that I really care about and have the most fun, honestly, playing is Battlegrounds. And the cool thing about him, I think he could be a dual, you know, dual threat uh, champion. He can probably do some stuff on attack, especially if he goes to rank two. Um, and could actually, uh, you know, if you max out an equity, make people time out or um, on defense. But that's that's honestly very, very uh, interesting for me. Um, so let's come back to that. Also, if you need uh, someone for long form content, I mean, again, maybe you have Aegon, maybe you have uh, some of the other champions, but he could also be viable Let's go over to Cap Sam Wilson. This guy is the last, <laughs> the last champion I would choose. If he came like Sig 200, maybe, just maybe I would consider it. But this guy is a massive, massive, massive pillow hands. Um, I wish he got tuned up, but, you know, he's got the utility, but he's got no damage. So he's just going to be useless. I'm not going to be using him in war. I'm not going to be using him for questing. I'm not going to be using him for battlegrounds. I'm not going to be using him. I mean, I've got Nimgod. I've got, you know, um, a seven star Lady D. I mean, I've got an Omega Sentinel as a six star. I mean, I've got Warlock. I mean, I've got my fair share of mutant killers who are far, far better than he is. So he's like the last choice. Um, initially, I was thinking of Emma when I when this crystal, you know, not this this selector first came out when news first dropped. This was like, you know, whenever that was, two months ago or whatever, or a month ago. And since then, I was able to pull two amazing uh, mutant seven stars, Bishop, as well as um, Sunspot, both unduped. But guys, I mean, I would take up both of them to R two before Emma. I mean, I love her immunities. Um, but she just isn't the defender that she was years ago, probably when I first started playing the game three and a half years ago um, or more. But honestly, um, I don't know. I think she's a dope champion. She's, you know, fully synergized out. She can put in some nice damage. She's great for questing. You build a whole synergy team around her. She can put in work. But I don't see myself running her again. I mean, if I have Bishop, I'd rather... I feel like he's a better defender and a better attacker, especially at R2. Um, so, yeah, I would just do Bishop. And for Sunspot, I feel like he's a better nuke in Battlegrounds. Uh, maybe has zero defensive uh, capabilities. But for offensive, I feel he blows her out the water. So, no Emma for me. Again, if you want, if you do not have the champions that I just listed, maybe you just have five stars or six stars at rank two or something like that. If you're looking for a very, very strong mutant, Emma is the choice, honestly. If you're looking for a quester or even someone, for an attacker in Battlegrounds, Emma is honestly, I would say, numero uno pick. Um, but next, let's go next. 
is going to be Ebony Maw. Um, this is who I'm really debating with uh, with Ant Man. These two are really in the the running neck and neck. And for Ebony Maw, I mean, the thing that's m making me just slightly hesitant, or otherwise, it would be an absolutely no brainer. I do have him as a six star rank four and Sig two hundred. Um, and I don't see myself, obviously, awakening the seven star anytime soon. But as always, this game is all about also the long game and acquiring that new rarity uh, to prepare for the future. So I'm sure these guys will all go into the basic at some point and some point soon, uh, sooner than later. So you got to have the seven star right to then be able to dupe the seven star. So I don't know. Ebony Maw, I just feel at rank two and then eventually awakened and then in battlegrounds you ban the right champions is going to be such a, an absolute beast so i'm slightly leaning more towards maw right now overall um let me know right now in the comments guys who did you pick um red goblin i do have funny enough um he can do things especially awakened and high sig um i actually got my six star to sig 200 about a month or two ago um, and he's at R3, and I was thinking about taking him up, but then, again, I knew that this selector was coming, so I didn't. Um, I don't know. I'm, I, I would say he's, like, the third option, so it would be, like, Ebony Maw, um, Ant-Man, and then, I don't know, Emma and kind of, uh, um, Red Goblin are kind of tied for me, but without further ado, guys, I am going to purchase this Enough Talking. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, if you want a damage dealer, uh, pure offensive damage dealer, fast kills, great synergy with Hercules, go, go Black Panther. If you want someone that could be an, a dual threat, attacker and defender, um, buff immune, has some immunities, damage over time, go Ant-Man. Also, obviously, can't forget the synergy with Ghost. If you want someone who can actually... Do things on offense, especially at R2, and is a nightmare on defense. Uh, if they don't have the right counter, go Ebony Maw. If you want someone who's just a cool-looking champion um, and eventually invest in him for the future and get him awakened and then, you know, uh, run him with Odin with the pre-fights and then can do some cool numbers, go Red Goblin. If you just like Captain Sam Wilson because you just like him, <laughs> go him. Uh, but that's like the only reason, honestly. Uh, unless you can somehow uh, awaken him and get him to SIG 200 and rank 2, I would not pick him. But again, that's just me. If you did pick him because you like the champion, by all means, this is a game. Have fun. Knock yourself out. But we are going for Ebony Maw right here. Confirmed. Locked in. And for the... Um, we get a tier 6... Uh, class catalyst with this and I already have three cosmics and my plan for this is as you guys know gladiator is coming to the game next month I could easily get that to four right now but I know once I get that to four I'm just going to keep pulling cosmic so I'm going to take a little bit of a risk here you guys know that I told you in the last opening that we are going Try to do our best to dupe seven star Fulton. Hopefully, we get that DEO luck so we can showcase something juicy on the channel. I believe the crystals come out in two days. So, we are going to be investing in science so we can take her to rank two. I really like what she's been doing on defense. And yeah, guys, let me know who you took from this or who you plan on picking. Let me know if you know uh, my quick little breakdown was helpful. I tried to keep it pretty simple. And let's get into that seven star crystal. So there are still some really, really exciting pulls for me from this. I would say a brand new America Chavez would be my number one want. Uh, duping Sunspot would be great. Duping Gambit. Awakening Sasquatch would be absolutely amazing. But we are getting, ooh, 20 more SIGs on Titania. So this will bring her to SIG 40. One of my favorite science champions to use in the game, especially in Battlegrounds. Uh, she's just so much fun to use, so much utility, and uh, that's going to be a massive, massive W. Guys, make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Definitely subscribe because your boy is going to be wailing out on the Photon and Vox 7-star Paragon Crystals coming very soon. And I'll catch you in the next one. Damn Epic out. Peace.